Hello and welcome back. So this video is going to be all about techniques for applying makeup that I personally have discovered have made my makeup look a lot better. Once I started doing these specific techniques, they really helped my makeup application and certain parts of my makeup just look much better. So yeah, and if you have any techniques that you would like to share, please let us know. And all right, let's get into it. The first technique that made a really, really big difference, but was difficult for me to achieve, was tight lining my upper waterline. And this was hard for me to do. I tried for years, but I mean, I have very watery eyes and I wear contacts. So, I mean, if you get any eyeliner on your contacts, that is uncomfortable, but I finally was able to do it. And I mean, I definitely can't do it on camera, but I just like get in there and put some black eyeliner on that top waterline. And this makes your lashes look so much fuller because it fills in that gap where you can see skin in between the eyelash and your eyeball. It makes a huge difference, particularly, I mean, some the way your face is shaped may affect this because I have a lot of skin there for some reason that will show if I don't do this technique. I've also d discovered that this particularly looks really good in photos. Once I started doing this, I don't know, I just feel like my makeup started to look a lot more polished, better overall, and it definitely makes eyelashes look darker and fuller. The second technique is using a finishing powder to blend my highlighter, blush, and bronzer together. This is the Hourglass Luminous Light, and I use any of that. I have the ambient lighting palette. I've used that. I, you can use any. Basically, use a very subtle highlighter. You can also use a face powder, but I have found that that actually can fade the highlighter and blush, whereas if you use a very mildly shimmery powder, it kind of blends it all together without fading the colors away. So any brush really will do. I've used brushes of all shapes. Just get a little bit of that and I just kind of like go over. I first go over mostly the highlight and then I kind of go over all of it. I've already done this once today, but I did it again. And I really think this makes a big difference to not have, I have a really intense highlighter on right now, by the way, but it really avoids that extremely stripy look that sometimes you'll see where you can see bronzer, blush, highlight. It really melts it all together and I really, really like this technique. Next one is particularly for dry skin. I have combo skin, but in the winter I am extremely dry. So if I have a day where I'm really dry and I know that my makeup is gonna end up really like crepey looking, I will take any facial oil, like a skincare oil, it doesn't have to be like a oil primer or anything. This is just the Botanics one. I really like this one. I put a few drops in my dry areas right before I do my makeup. So I'll put some in my forehead, particularly here, right on the cheekbone area. Blend that in, let it just sit a few minutes and then do primer foundation and all of that. And it really helps plump up those dry areas and yeah, if you notice that your makeup is getting very dry and crepey in certain areas, put a few drops of any skincare oil on and it should really help. But you don't wanna to put too much on because then your makeup will slide around. But yeah, only a few drops, let it sit for a few minutes and then apply the rest of the makeup. Okay, for this last tip, this is kind of a combination of tips that I have found keep my concealer from creasing. And I know this is a problem a lot of people have. I mean, I have actually quite a few lines under my eyes. I am 34, but I've had these lines since my 20s. This is just what I look like. I think people kind of forget that about under eye lines is, that's just what our face looks like. We have those lines there. Almost everybody does. If you don't, you're lucky. Okay, so the first part of this tip involves where I actually put the concealer under my eyes. So this is Tarte Shape Tape. I obviously already have makeup on, but most beauty gurus you will see, they take the concealer right under the eye and they do the triangle. I used to do that and I was always a creasy mess. And finally, I started to do the triangle right here on like the really top of my cheekbone just do a triangle there, not applying it directly to this area where the lines are. So I apply a little triangle there, 
just like that. Then I blend it out with a, with a beauty sponge. I used my finger for the longest time to blend out concealer and it does work, but the beauty sponge will help soak up a little bit of extra product. So then you're not gonna get as much creasing. So I feel that that does work better for me, but you could also use a brush. So I blend it out first, I kind of go like this, and then I go up here into the under eye area. So the key is that you're getting most of the product here where obviously I don't really have as many lines. The lines are right directly under the eye. So you're putting much less product there. Okay, so then the next part of this tip is, so I did my concealer, obviously after foundation, and then I will then set my face or start doing something else. I let it sit for at least maybe a minute. It's going to crease, so I want it to crease. So I let it crease, and then before I set it with powder, right before, I mean immediately, I will put the powder on my brush, holding it in my hand, tap out the lines with the beauty sponge, and then set it immediately when there is no creasing. That has made such a difference, it's insane. I mean, my under eyes, I will wear my makeup for 12 hours and I won't get creasing. It's crazy. Okay, there's one last section to this particular technique for me, and that has been finding the right under eye powder. A lot of people you see are on the hunt for the right concealer, which is part of it too, but I have found, since I found the correct under eye powder for me, I can wear almost any concealer and it doesn't crease. I can wear low coverage, I can wear shape tape, although you can't put on too much shape tape. I mean, if you put too much shape tape on, this technique still won't be enough, but the key has been finding the right powder. I've only ever found two powders that won't crease my under eye, and that is the Lancome Absolute in, this is Absolute Pearl, and the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. They are very similar powders because they have a slight pink tinge, which for my skin tone kind of helps neutralize things a little bit, so the color you may want to pick, obviously, for your particular skin tone, um, but a very light pink powder works for me. Um, some people are using lavender powders, some people use banana powders. For me, banana powder is too dark, but if you have darker skin, banana powder will work well for the under eyes, so the color obviously depends on your skin tone. But I've decided that the reason this one and the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil work so well are because they are incredibly finely milled. Okay, so I don't even know if you can tell. I have this powder here. I mean, it kind of like disappears to nothing. I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain that, but there's something incredibly finely milled about this powder and the Mineral Veil that also helps my concealer from creasing. Anytime I've used a pressed setting powder under my eyes, it just does not work as well because those tend to be not as finely milled. So trust me, once you find the right setting powder for your under eye area, you'll be able to wear almost any concealer because I feel like the powder is more important than the concealer. All right, so that is it for some techniques that I feel have really, really helped my makeup look better. I just, some of these I saw people in YouTube videos doing, and some of these I just kind of experimented and just started doing it on my own, and I felt like it made a really, really big difference. Probably the biggest ones for me were the various techniques for preventing under eye creasing and then the tie lining. Those really helped my makeup look a lot better. And yeah, so please let us know what some of your tips are, and thanks for watching.